Hello everybody. I'm Dr. Chana Shekhar, consultant shoulder surgeon, Kim Sunshine Hospital, Back and Pet. Today, I'm going to discuss regarding a disruptive and innovative technology in shoulder surgery, what we call it as blueprint technology. What is this blueprint? If you ask a person, a civil engineer, while constructing a building or a bridge, or for that matter, any kind of big structure, first of all, he will have a plan. You will draw a plan and this plan, once it's finalized, is called blueprint. Based on this blueprint, he will execute the construction of that structure or building and he will follow the measurements and the angles that were given by the blueprint while building this construction or structure. On similar lines, we have this blueprint technology that was introduced into shoulder surgery recently. It was introduced overseas many years ago and in India in the month of January and in Hyderabad for the first time we were introducing this technology and we introduced it in the month of February and we used it in many patients by this time. I will explain to you why this blueprint technology is necessary and what are the advantages of this blueprint technology while we are doing good amount of shoulder surgery already since many decades. There are many patients who are suffering from sh severe shoulder pain and some of these patients are having something called arthritis of the shoulder or in general terms what we call it as wear and tear of the joint. This is similar to arthritis of the knee or knee arthritis wherein you have worn out joint of the knee. Similarly, you have worn out shoulder joint. This is called shoulder arthritis or arthritis of the shoulder. Now, if you watch carefully here, this is the CT scan of the patient. I have uploaded the CT scan into this computer and this based on this blueprint technology. Now, this CT scan, on the CT scan, I can choose where to place my new joint, I can choose whether I have to keep it slightly up, slightly below, slightly in, slightly out, at 10 degree, at 5 degree, or 7 degree. You can see that, the moment there. So I can literally play on the computer to choose the best possible position and again the best possible size for a particular patient. I can check. On the computer, so what is the best possible position or the best possible size of the implant that is suitable for this particular patient? Similarly, on the other side of the joint, again, I can do that here. I can change the degree or angle, I can change the height, I can check my choice whether it is suitable for this patient or not on this 3D model here. With this, I can precisely plan the surgery based on the bones of this particular patient. With respect to the fact that this patient I'm going to operate is a very small built elderly female or a very obese male. Or like, so let us say 150 kilos male or a very thin built 50 kilos female. It doesn't matter. Usually females have a weaker and thinner bones, elderly females. So sometimes we have difficulty in choosing the size for them. So on this technology, with this technology, I can choose these sizes and positions. And in fact, how much bone to be cut and how much bone to be preserved based on this off. I can choose the best possible size for a particular patient, the best possible size of the implant that I'm going to put, what size of the new joint requires. And I can choose the best possible position for this particular patient. In fact, I can even know or you can predict how much movement the patient is going to get after the surgery just by looking at this computer screen. Amazing technology. This in simple terms, I can say, is like doing a virtual surgery without even touching the patient. So patient is not in, not in my room now. I'm not in the operating room. I'm just sitting in my outpatient clinic. But just by uploading the CT scan of the patient, I can choose the position, I can measure the sizes, I can melt the bone cut, and I can melt the cut bone cut angle and I can measure the size that is suitable. I can measure the location of the new joint and I can even predict the movements that this patient is going to get with this kind of joint. What is the advantage of this virtual surgery or 3D blueprinting technology, blueprint technology? The surgery is going to be very precise, especially true in complex cases or difficult cases. And then minimal tissue damage and best possible fixation of the new joint and best possible movements we can give to the patients of surgery. And this finally results into 
better longevity of the new joint and better function results and the best possible patient satisfaction. Thank you.